So now we're going to talk about how to cut your rabbit's nails. And a lot of people have trouble doing this at home and they end up making it into a two-person job. Same as in a clinic. Sometimes in a clinic they have two people doing it. It's actually less stressful for the rabbit if you can just do it yourself as you do at home, as I do at home. Fewer people around the rabbit, less commotion. It's just much easier. You make it a one-person job. Now this bunny has not had her nails cut before and she's a Rex rabbit. The nails are a little bit different than they are in a non-Rex rabbit. Well, how, what, and how, what are we'll, different? We'll take a look. Okay. Let's watch. Their nails tend to be a little bit curlier in Rexes in my experience. Okay. And the vessel may be a little bit, these, these are pretty easy to see. This rabbit has both dark nails and light nails and it doesn't make any difference what color the nails are when you use this technique because what you're going to do with this technique is you're going to use the rabbit's own feedback to let you know when you're too close to the blood vessel. Instead of depending on your eyesight to see where the blood vessel is, which you may or may not be able to do, you're going to squeeze on the nail a little bit. First of all, you need scissors, like little clippers like this, yep. right? What are, they, are these for kid, cats or something? These, I think they're, they're considered bird nail clippers, but oh. they, I've seen them called kitty clippers too. Sometimes they have a long spike down one of the handles. I don't like that. But I put the rabbit on a towel. I want her on a towel because I want her to feel good traction, which she probably feels from these little rugs too. But, And then I press her against myself and restraint is probably the most important part of doing a nail cutting. If a rabbit is carefully and gently restrained and not over restrained, you'll get much better results. And I think you've seen this at home with Dusty too. Um, Amy's rabbit hates to be restrained. She just really doesn't like it. So the less restraint you can use, the better off you are. So what I do is I put the, the bunny against my body and I use this part of my arm, my rolled up sleeve, to press against her hindquarters like this. And I pick up just one paw. And then I put the clippers around the paw, just the very tip, don't try to go down too much. And I go press, press, clip. Now I'm gonna put it around this nail press, press, clip. Now, Why am I going press, press? Because I'm giving the bunny an opportunity to react to the pressure and the position of the scissors. If I'm too close to the vessel, the bunny will suddenly pull back her paw and sometimes they shake the paw to show you that you've sinned. And the vessel but, is the same as what they call a quick, right? Yeah, it's quick. the vessel is the quick. And, um, and the bunny will pull her paw back if you're too close to it. And that gives you an opportunity to reposition your scissors because what you've done by doing press, press first, you've made a little white line on the nail. And if the bunny is disturbed that you're too close to the quick, she'll shake her paw to get rid of you and then she'll quiet down again. You can pick up the paw and cut on the other side of the white nail and it won't bother her at all. So we've done a couple of nails on that paw and there are four pointing forward nails on the front and then a dew claw, a fifth one, which is up on the side, the equivalent of our thumb. And that is always hard to see so you just do your best no matter well, what she's, position. He's being so, she's being so good, this bunny. Press, press, clip. Good. Great. Thank you very much. Look at you. That was great. That was that paw. The next paw, you're going to stand the bunny on her hind legs, supporting her chest and letting the paw hang down like this. You should be able to put your chin on her head and kiss her oh, head. Oh, she loves that. And this is a very easy nail to visualize. when You, you make everything this. seem so press, easy because, boy. Stop, stop. Press, press, clip. I put the scissors down in between and I isolate the hair from the nail. With a really long-haired rabbit, and a lot of lop -ear rabbits have long hair on their feet, you can have a little bowl of water and wet down the hair around the nail and the nail will stick out beautifully. Oh. This rabbit doesn't need that. Her nails are very visible. I'm going to go press, press, clip. And I developed this technique about 15 years ago when I was working as the rabbit person at a shelter where I had no help because the head of the shelter was allergic to rabbits. So I had, to, <laughs> I had to go in the back room and, and sit with rabbits and experiment with what they would allow me to do with their nails. Mm -hmm. We actually- A little salon. A little salon. We actually shot a video of this. We've been selling the video as a fundraiser for the last 15 years or so. Um, and now other people are putting it on YouTube and all that. We haven't done that with our video yet, but it's, it's based on, on the video we did quite a while ago, people have told me. This video and is better. This video, okay. this video is going to be better. Okay. And now we're going to do the back nails, All and right. this is really fun. Um, what happens, what I found out when I was experimenting with their bodies was that if you jiggle the foot while you're moving it, 
the rabbit is distracted enough not to care very much as long as her weight is balanced on the other foot. So I want her weight on this foot because I want to cut these nails. So I'm going to grasp this foot here and I'm going to jiggle it a little bit at the same time as I roll her weight onto this foot. And I ask her to give me the foot. Wow, like a little I, clown mm, shoe. Like a little clown shoe. And I found that virtually all rabbits will just hold their foot out there. They'll let you work on their foot um, without any kind of resistance. I even used to play a game. Nowadays, I don't have a lot of time to do that. But to get their foot relaxed, I would do this. Put your left foot in, <laughs> your left foot out, and you do the hokey pokey, and you turn all about. <laughs> Remember? And it, <laughs> yeah, she loves that. Yeah, get, get rid of that hokey pokey. <laughs> so, but it's a it's a good way to have them just kind of relax and let and let you manipulate their foot, get them used to having the foot manipulated. But you see that she just leaves it out here. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the hind foot. There is no dew claw on the hind foot, so you only have four nails. Oh, to worry there about. isn't. I didn't know nope. that. One, two, clip. And you do want to give a little bit of time in case you're too close to the quick. I'm not going to. I'm not going to deliberately show you because I don't want to hurt the bunny. This sometimes this reflexive movement, you'll see the bunny kind of quiver, and if you even touch the bottom of the foot, that stops right away. And press, press, clip. <laughs> and she's adorable. You can kiss her head at the same time. Press, press, clip. Put the foot back. Roll her weight, use your own body to roll her weight onto that foot so that you can grasp the other foot and pull it out. Kiss on your head. Press, press, clip. I save my rabbit's toenails. Forever and ever. I just, you know, have around. I might use it as a craft one day for something. <laughs> Put it in a can and shake it, you know, when press, you need press, help. Clip. See how it stops moving? Mm hmm. Press this. I can't see this quick at all. See the white line I just yep, left yep, on it yep. now? Press, press, clip. There you go. You and the more. last one. And I'm not trying to take off a lot. I'm just trying to take off the end <clears throat> because now that, you see she didn't pull back in advance. She pulled back as I clipped it. That happens every once in a while too. You get a piece of hair caught in there and it pulls as you go to clip the nail, but it doesn't bother the rabbit. They'll kind of pull back and then they'll let you uh, touch their foot again right away. So you can tell the difference. So that's it. And you actually have to put the foot back underneath the rabbit. Some of them fall asleep when you're doing this. I just want to I just want to indicate how little restraint there is that she's basically sitting on my hand. My thumb wraps around and sometimes it looks like it's grabbing the rabbit, but it's not. It's just now, the rabbit is kind of resting here on a flat hand. What happens when you don't stay on top of nails? <laughs> <laughs> what uh, happens when you stroke when the When you foot don't stay on top of How do you know really when it's time to trim nails and you know, how can it get, can it hurt them to have such long nails? It, well, sometimes the nails break off okay. all the way up, which is not good because you can open a channel for bacterial infection there. So you do want to stay on top of them. If you cut them once a month or once every other month, you can watch your rabbit's nail growth yourself and you can pretty much see. But doesn't it hurt if they have long nails? Like if we, like if I had long toe no. nails and I walked on a hardwood floor, oh, it hurt kill me. I thought you meant hurt or to Or anything, yeah. you know. Um, I don't see that rabbits will stop walking because of long nails, but oh. I can see that when they're walking on hard surface the nails will break. Okay. Some rabbits also chew their nails, believe it or not. Oh. They actually, you go to cut their nails and you find that it's almost all the way chewed off and you just have to do a little bit of a clip. You know, the rabbits that we get into our rescue sometimes haven't been cared for in so long. Mm -hmm. They end up chewing off their own nails. So, yeah, I mean, uh, it's good to stay on top of it for sure. And it's more comfortable for the rabbit because if you only take off the end, if you keep the nails at a reasonable length, you only need to take off the end. And believe it or not, the quick will uh, retreat back from the edge of the nail okay. little by little. The longer you let the rabbit's nails grow, the more the quick is going to advance to the front. So you have an, an advantage in keeping the rabbit's nails short and the quick will stay back from the edge of the nail. Okay. So that's it. You did a very good job, Bunny. You're so pretty. Yes. Nail trimming. Nail trimming 101.